Assalamu alaikum. Today, me, Balkis, and my colleague Farid will present on fluid replacement modeling and AVO forward modeling. Okay, for this presentation, we as group two will talk about uh, fluid replacement modeling by calculating the 100% gas, 100% oil, and 100% brine condition from VP, VS, and density in in situ condition. Next, we also show you um, the AVO forward modeling from three scenarios using accurated formula and compare them with the in situ condition. Here are the contents that will be presented by us. So we will begin with the introduction followed by the theory aspect, methodology, results, and it will end with the conclusions. So fluid substitution or fluid replacement modeling is a technique in seismic modeling which used to predict uh, the seismic response of rock which contain different types of fluid such as water, oil and gas. So the basic idea behind the fluid substitution modeling is to replace one fluid with another fluid in a rock model and then calculate the resulting changes in the rock's elastic properties such as seismic velocity and density. And it is important part of seismic rock physics uh, analysis such as AVO and log correlation which provide tools for fluid identification and quantification in reservoir. So from the fluid substitution or fluid replacement, we can model the seismic properties which is uh, velocity and density of the reservoir at a given reservoir condition by replace for fluid saturation from the initial saturation to the 100% water, 100% oil and 100% gas. And we can understand how the seismic response of the rock change when the pore fluid changes. For AVO forward modeling, it is used to identify behavior of seismic waves as they travel through the subsurface rock and encounter changes in rock properties um, such as topology, porosity, and plate contents. So the idea behind this technique is to stimulate uh, the propagation of seismic waves through a series of subsurface rock layers with varying properties using mathematical model. And from the model, it provides overview of AVO response in elastic contrast from seismic data through the AVO forward modeling. Now, um, let's move to the theory aspect of FSM and AVO forward modeling. The aspect theory of fluid substitution modeling refers to the effect of the aspect ratio of pore geometry on fluid substitution process. Uh, aspect of ratio is used to determine how much the bulk properties of reservoir will change when the fluid within it changes. And it is important factor in controlling the change in elastic properties that result from the fluid substitution. Theory of fluid substitution, it shows the fluid is in reservoir will be modeled as combination of two combination uh, fluid phase, which are wetting phase, usually water, and non-wetting phase, usually oil or gas. And then elastic properties uh, have calculated for various combination of wetting and non-wetting phase saturation through the model. In FSM, we can observe that seismic fluid sensitivity can be determined through pore stiffness and porosity. Softer rock has high fluid changes of sensitivity as per figure here. Dry and saturated modeling related with VP, VS and density. And lastly, we should bear in mind fluid replacement will not affect the shear modelers as shear waves cannot pass through the fluid. To perform the FSM, we need to use an equation, which is Gassman equation. So it has been introduced by a geophysicist named Fritz Gassman. So from Gassman, we can um, estimate the VP, VS, density and porosity. Apart from that, we also can estimate fluid modulus, uh, estimate mass strip modulus, and also calculate the dry rock properties. Okay, so the theory behind the AVO forward modeling is based on the principle of wave reflection and transmission at interfaces between the different 
geological layers. So when a seismic wave encounters and interfaces between two geological layers, uh, some of the energy will be reflected to the surface and some of it will be transmitted into the underlying layers. So first, we need to know that different ecology has different acoustic impedance. So the amplitude of the reflected wave is dependent on the difference in acoustic impedance between the two layers. So in FVO forward modeling, the reflection coefficient recorded as R is used to quantify the amplitude of reflected wave. So the reflection coefficient actually it is referring to the ratio of the amplitude of reflected wave to the amplitude of the incident wave. So there are a few formula to perform AVO forward modeling and one of them is the Archie Richard formula. So this formula will be used to predict the behavior of seismic waves as they encounter changes in rock properties such as um, the lithology, porosity and fluid content. And then it is also used to calculate the expected reflection coefficients and amplitude of the seismic wave at each interface between the subsurface layer. Next, I will pass this presentation to Farid to talk about the methodology and the results. Thank you. Thank you, Balkis, for covering the previous part of this presentation. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Ahmad Farid and I will cover the methods part of this presentation. Methods refer to the detailed procedures, techniques and approaches used by our groups to conduct this research study. So, for our study, we will use GeoView software to generate the result for both fluid substitution modeling and FVO modeling results. So for our project methodology, we will separate it into two parts. The first part will be the fluid substitution modeling and the second part will be the AVO forward modeling. We will start first with the first part which is the fluid substitution modeling. So the first step will be by the by choosing the FRM operation in our GeoView software and then we will set the zone of interest in our case it will be the top guess and the best guess and the third step is by inserting the log details and by default the P wave will be the P wave itself and the S wave will be computed by the software then we will continue with the next step which is by setting up the initial fluid parameters by default, our fluid parameters is 50% water and 50% gas. Then we set our petrophysical parameters which is 100% quartz. And then we set the output name and set the output parameters. So we will repeat this process. Uh, depends on our scenario. For example, here we set for in situ scenario which is 50% water and 50% gas. And it will repeat for 100% brine, 100% oil, and 100% gas condition. After we have done input all of our parameters, we will then click apply, and then the output data will appear in our project data panel on the left side. And then we can display each of our output data in the track by dragging it into the windows in the center. And then from here, we can compare the measurement and the result side by side to get our results and discussion. In here, we can see the overview of fluid substitution modeling workflow. We will start by choosing the FRM operation in the GeoView software, set the zone of interest, insert the log details, set the initial fluid parameters, set the petrophysical parameters, name the output log, Set the output parameters, apply the FRM operation and lastly display the FRM tracks. And the step will be repeated with 100% gas, oil and brine output. We will then continue on to our second part of methodology which is by generating the AVO forward modeling. The first step will be by importing the set Y files and then we will select the desired wells and thirdly we will desire the we will select the desired logs for our p wave s wave and density 
As for the next step, we will continue with shear wave estimation process. Here we input our zone of interest, which is the top gas and the best gas, and then we will set the in situ fluid condition, which is 100% water and 0% gas. This will be repeated with other type of scenario, and then we will continue with the another process, which is the pre-stack seismic process which we will input our gathers here. After clicking apply, we can see our output in the seismic window. From here, we can see the wavelets of our project. And there is a well appear in our wavelet which is highlighted in the red color at the common dash point of 330. Then we can correlate the wavelet and the wells by setting it in cross correlation function or by manually stretching it then we will set the scenario that we want to generate which is the 100% gas oil or brine and then we will generate the fluid substitution model from our inputs and then from the fluid substitution model we will create the AVO forward modeling by applying the Aki Richard equation so here are the overview of FVO forward modeling workflow. We will start by importing the set Y files in our software and then select the well and locks, apply the shear wave estimation process, select the seismic and correlate well and generate fluid substitution at in situ and then we will generate the P wave, S wave and bulk sensitivity in different scenarios and then we apply the accurate equation to all the scenarios to create the AVO forward modeling and lastly is by generating the synthetic CDP gathers. We will then continue with the next part of our presentation which is the result and discussion chapter. In this chapter we will discuss our findings prior to all the methodology that we have applied in our studies. So we will continue with our first result which is the P-Wave Track Comparison in Fluid Substitution Modeling. So here we can see all the scenarios that, have, that we have generated. So based on this result, we can see that the P-Wave Velocity in the Mixed Fluid will be lower than P-Wave Velocity in Solid Rock but higher in 100% Gas Condition. In P-Wave in 100% Gas Condition, we can see significant drop in the P wave velocity as they encounter a gas filled zone because gas is a compressible compressible medium and has a very low density compared to the solid rock. While in P wave in 100% oil condition can vary depending on the type of oil oil and the properties of rock surrounding the zone. And lastly in the P wave in 100% water condition, the velocity is similar to its velocity in solid rock. This is because water is nearly incompressible fluid and has a similar and has a similar density to many types of solid rocks. On to the second result, which is the S wave track comparison in our fluid substitution modeling. In this result, we can see that the S wave velocity in the mixed fluid will be lower than the S wave velocity in the solid rock, but higher in 100% gas condition. And next is S wave cannot propagate because it requires a solid medium to transmit the shear stress. Therefore, there will be no S wave detected in a 100% gas condition. And S wave also can propagate but its velocity will be much lower in solid rock in 100% oil condition and in 100% water condition the S wave can propagate and its velocity will be similar to the S wave velocity in the solid rock. Moving on to the third part for our result which is the bulk density track comparison. As we can see in in situ scenario the results are varying depends on the compressibility of the fluid and as well as the solid matrix. In other case, for 100 gas condition and 100% oil condition, the measurement will be lower due to the low density compared to the solid rock. And for 100% water, water condition, 
the result will be higher when compared to gas and lower when compared to the solid rock matrix. So that's all for the result for fluid substitution modeling. Passing on to Balkis to continue for result and discussion for AVO forward modeling. Now we move to the results of AVO forward modeling. So from this result, we can observe that top of EC2 and pure gas, or we call it as 100% gas, showed the strongest trough along the offset compared to the AVO synthetic of pure oil and pure water. Same goes to the base of EC2 and pure gas. It also showed the strongest peak uh, along the offset compared to the AVO synthetic of pure oil and also pure water. So from this observation, uh, which referring to the image in this slide, it shows that gas and high gas oil ratio reservoir, or we call it as GOR reservoir, exhibit larger amplitude reflection compared with the water due to the increment of the distance between the source and also the receiver. So next, Farid, the floor is yours. Now we are reaching on to the last chapter of our presentation which is the conclusion of the project itself. So what can we conclude from our experiment in GeoView software? In this experiment, we can learn how to apply fluid replacement modeling and also AVO forward modeling using our GeoView software. Secondly, we can learn how to simulate fluid reservoir and evaluate the changes of elastic properties for different fluid properties. Thirdly, we can learn how to use the AVO forward modeling by identifying the behavior of seismic waves as they travel through subsurface rocks and encounter changes in rock properties such as lithology, porosity, and fluid content. Lastly, rock physics and QI analytics are a valuable knowledge to have in the future, especially as a geoscientist. That's all that we can conclude from our project presentation. So we are reaching the end of our presentation today. In this opportunity, I would like to give my thanks to all the GAs, Mr. Faris and Mr. Maulana, and also our lecturer, Dr. Maman Hermana, for guiding us toward the completion of this project. That's all from us. Thank you and see you again later.